This morning in the Springer Mountain Farms kitchen, we are featuring a dish with local roasted beets. Here to tell us how to make it and what goes into this delectable treat is Chef Ben Park with the Flying Squirrel. Good morning. Morning. How's it going? It's going great. I'm so excited about this because beets are not something that I would normally try to cook or even pair with a salad and the other great items you have here. So before we dive into a little bit about you, I want you to go ahead and tell us about the dish. Well, um... You know, we have, we're lucky where we live to have a lot of great produce, great purveyors, great people that make great chicken. Mm -hmm. And um, I just really wanted to show off the bounty of this area. So we've got some uh, Southland Farm baby beets here. These are Chiogas. Really nice sweetness, and they're really in season right now. Um, I'd be kind of remiss to not show them off because right. that's just what's really wonderful right now. Some chickpeas, beet chips, and just trying to use um, things that are going to accentuate that in a kind of creative way. And you use a lot of local ingredients at the Flying Squirrel, Absolutely. Right? We try and just really focus on what's great seasonally, locally, and regionally. Yeah. All right, so let's get started on this dish and tell me how we're going to make this and talk me through the process. Well, to start out, we've just got these beets that we've kind of uh, we've pre roasted a little bit just so they have a, uh, a nice bit of texture and sweetness mm -hmm. already. And we're going to pop these in to warm up and roast really quickly. In the oven here. And how long does it normally take to fully cook or prepare? For um, let's say for a eight ounce beet, you know, a smaller size beet, I'd say an hour okay, really of perfect. roasting with a little bit of honey, water, salt, pepper, and a little bit of orange slice for me, and a touch of thyme if you can. All right, perfect. And then while that's happening, we're going to throw a little oil in this pan, which. Luckily, it's already hot. And I can hand you anything, too. <laughs> we've got some uh, green chickpeas here, which are already fresh. We've slightly toasted them already, but we want to give them a little love. Mm -hmm. While that's happening, we're going to hit it with a pastrami spice, which is a blend of mustard seed, dehydrated garlic, coriander, salt, black pepper, mm -hmm. and brown yes, sugar. Perfect. Um, and, you know, sure you all can. of this can just be thrown into a bowl. And that's you what don't I was have talking. to. Uh, <laughs> But that looks way better. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I like to have a little play. It's, you know, that's what makes it fun. So we're going to spoon these little green guys all over it. I, I just love the contrast mm -hmm. between the green and it the red. It gives a nice color pop, absolutely. And then we're going to take a little bit of mustard seed here. Mm -hmm. And again, mustard seed you can get at any grocery store. And if you cook it down with just a little cider vinegar and salt, you've got pickled mustard seed, oh, you know, and that's. We're just going to spoon that on just like that right there. I was there. wondering what that was, so I was waiting for you to get to it. Yeah. And when I first walked in, I thought this was bacon, but that's <laughs> obviously not bacon. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's not bacon good, but it's pretty good, you know. <laughs> I, uh, and then we're going to take a little bit more of our pastrami spice here and just throw it all over it for uh, some big flavor. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we'll take out our, uh, our tweezers here. Which and you have fancy tweezers. I, I, like I do have fancy <laughs> tweezers. Um, I, uh, not everything has to be tweezered, but, you know, it, for someone that's fidgety, mm -hmm. you know, I'm definitely a pen clicker. Um, having tweezers looks a little more professional, you know? Right. It helps yeah. you place everything in the exact right spot. It does. And, you know, when you're a big guy with big hands, sometimes <laughs> delicate flowers just don't, you know, they don't right. do the job. Then, let's see here, what are we going to do next? A little bit. We've got our carrot top honey here. So one thing we, we really try and do, and that's, I appreciate the support of people like Springer and the, the mission of just really good chefs in the South, mm -hmm. of using the whole animal and the whole plant. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a farmer grows everything, right. hand picks all this stuff. So for me, it's really important to try and use every bit of that, you know, of that vegetable or animal. And here we take all of our carrot tops and we cook them down with uh, Walden Ridge Honey, which mm -hmm. is a local honey company. And we get this nice, bright, green vegetable Yeah, we were talking about honey. that, you know, during the break, about using the entire vegetable. Well, yeah, I mean, just, you know, using everything. It, it all takes work. And I think it's important to remember that, you know, it's not, it's not magic that gets the food here, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we're taking these little nasturtiums just to make it a little brighter. We're going to throw them in we're here. I, as I'm plating this fresh dish here, we're also known for our fried chicken. It's, um, we're lucky, one of our sous chefs, Bert, he, I've had a lot of fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I seek out fried chicken, you know, <laughs> from when I lived in Chicago to I was born in Nashville. So, you know, I grew up eating Prince's hot chicken. Right. But I stand by our, our fried chicken um, in extremis. So we're going to do Springer Mountain fried chicken, and then we're going to take Tennessee paddlefish caviar and just throw it all over it. And serve it with uh, with bubbles because wow. why not caviar, Spring Mountain fried chicken, and bubbles? You when know? you told me that you were doing fried chicken and champagne, I was like sold. 
two of my favorite items in the world. <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, you can eat your if you eat your vegetables, you're also allowed to eat your fried chicken right? in my book. You know. <laughs> And uh, so to finish this dish up, what we're going to do, I've got a little yuzu juice here. Mm -hmm. um, you can use lemon juice, lime juice. This is a Japanese citrus that's really, really fun. And uh, what I like to do is keep one of these little atomizer bottles around. Yeah. You can get them, uh, I think, in the makeup section at Absolutely. Whole Foods and things. You can. But what's nice is when you want uh, something bright going out of the kitchen, you can just give it a little... Uh, so well, it's like a, like a perfume for food? Absolutely. Okay. It'll just give it a little mist of flavor, you know, and a mm -hmm. little brightness. So Perfect. That really kind of finishes it up. I think we've got a fully formed uh, beef salad here. Well, that looks great. I can't wait to dive in. Ben, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Really, thanks for having me.